if a user clicks on the View Campaign link, they unfortunately see a 404. We are, however, displaying the correct route up here. So in this video, we're going to start to not only set up the route mapping for this thing, but we're also going to set up a new component to display. Let's first take care of creating the component. Now, one thing that's going to be just a little bit confusing here is the fact that we are going to create this new component to show whenever a user goes to that route inside of our pages campaigns directory. Remember, we've been saying all along that if we create a component inside the pages directory, boom, we get a new path. However, we're not going to rely upon the built-in Next.js pages system to get this component to show on the screen. Instead, we're going to add a routing rule to our routes.js file. But let's first take care of creating the component and then set up the routing rule. So inside of my campaigns directory, I'm going to make a new file called show.js. And the idea here is that this component is going to show our users details about some particular campaign. Inside of here, we'll put together some boilerplate for a component. So I'll say import react and component from react. We'll then create our campaign, which we'll call campaign show. I'm going to say that extends component. We'll define the render method and have it return right now. How about just an H3 that says campaign show. At the bottom, we'll be sure to export default campaign show as well. Okay, so that's easy enough. Now the hard part is to actually set up our routing rule. Inside of my routes.js file, we're going to find where we had created that routes helper and then immediately exported it. So we're now going to use this routes helper right here to set up a new route and say that if a user ever goes to something that looks like Where's our diagram? Here it is right here. If a user ever goes to campaigns slash anything, we want to show that campaign show component. All right, so we're gonna say routes.add. So the add function is how we define a new route mapping. The first argument to this is going to be the pattern that we want to look for. So the pattern that you and I want to look for is something like slash campaigns slash, and then right here is basically like wildcard, right? To indicate a wildcard, we place a colon and then the name of this wildcard property or this kind of variable. This variable is going to eventually get passed into our component so we can actually reference whatever campaign address the user is trying to visit. So I think that because this little wildcard right here is supposed to represent a campaign address, we'll call it simply address, like so. Now one thing to really take note of here, we've got the colon, and that's specifically what says, hey, this part of the URL is going to be a wildcard or a variable of sorts. Now the second argument to this function right here is which route inside of our pages directory we want this thing to show whenever someone goes to this. So in other words, the arguments that we're passing to the add function are if a user goes to this route right here, what component do we want to show from our pages directory? So for us, we want to show the component campaigns slash show. So I'm going to pass in here slash campaigns slash show. Cool. All right, so let's test this out inside the browser. We should now be able to click on any of our links over here. And you know what, let's do a full refresh at this point just to make sure everything kicks in. So I'm gonna do a full refresh. We might have to restart the server. We'll see. I should now be able to click on any of these view campaign links over here. And we should see, ah, there we go. So no refresh required, very fortunate <laughs> for us. You'll notice that our route is campaigns and then the address. And we have our correct component show up on the screen. So that looks good. Now there's one little gotcha here. Okay, one little gotcha that's very important to be aware of. If we go back to our root route over here and then click on create campaign, you'll notice that now that link is completely broken. So we're now going back to the same link that we, to the same component that we just saw a moment ago, even though we are at campaigns slash new. So this should be showing us our form to make a new campaign. So it looks like we just broke this route. So essentially what's going on here is the routing library that we are using 
thinks that the word new right here is a campaign address. Like, look at this thing, it's campaigns slash some text. Well, that completely matches the matcher that you and I just created right here. So it's being interpreted as campaigns slash new, like so. And that automatically gets redirected over to campaigns show. So by adding in this route mapping, we broke one of our existing ones. Fixing this is going to be really straightforward, however. We're going to add on another route mapping that's just going to fix and specifically say if anyone goes to campaign slash new, then show this component right here. So at present, this rule that we just created is overriding the default Next.js navigation system. So we're just going to add a route mapping for this component right here inside of this navigation system as well, and that'll fix everything up. Now, the one thing to be aware of is that we have to add this route mapping before this one that we're adding right here. So it needs to be added before. So I'm going to put a new line in here like so, and then right above it, we'll add in this route mapping that's going to fix up, fix up the new route. So we're going to say if anyone goes to campaign slash new, just go ahead and show campaign slash new and don't try to do anything fancy with it. Notice that we don't have a semicolon or anything like that at the end of this line. And again, do make sure that this add statement right here is placed before the other one. All right, so let's try refreshing this again. If I do a hard refresh in the browser, I should see our form reappear on the screen. Very good. So now if we go back to the campaign index, okay, here's the campaign index. If I click on create campaign, yep, we show the form. And if I click on view campaign, we show the campaign show component. Very good. All right, so let's take a break here and we'll continue in the next video.